Hello, welcome to this next episode, the third episode of this All UC for H Copter series. And in this episode, we are, will talk about the flight controller and the UC for H Cube carrier in particular. And we actually will have to talk about quite some stuff. And the first thing I want to emphasize is that if you want to build an all UAV CAN copter, so where you only use UV CAN as a backbone, communication backbone, you of course don't need really this UC4H cube carrier. You can use any other flight controller which provides a CAN bus port. For example, you also can use this old uh, Pixhawk one thing. So they are equally good or I mean, these are excellent uh, flight controllers and you, of course, also can use them. So I'm not saying that the UC4H cube carrier is so much better than anything else on the world. Huh? It's one alternative option and I like it because it has some features which I like. And features among them are that it's simple, cheap uh, and very small. Okay, so having made this clear, we can start with looking at this cube carrier, UC4H cube carrier. And the first thing you might notice is how small, how slim and how simple it is. And that's indeed what is the case, what, what, what this is all about. Uh, so it has, uh, it's a simple double-sided uh, PCB, so it's simple to produce, simple to populate. It has very few ports and very few com electronic components, so it's easy to build and it's very cheap. And the reason for why this is so is because I tried here on purpose to reduce all the things to the really essential things. And one obvious reason is that when you build a CAN bus copter, you don't need all these other ports. So you remember, no SPI, no I2C, no PWM, no ADC. So all these ports are done. And when you look for uh, on a Pixhawk, for example, and other similar flight controllers, so these are the main out and aux out pins, all this is already gone. Uh, some other of all these ports are gone. And this is one reason why this can be so small here. And uh, so it essentially only has the CAN bus ports. However, I also put the seals ports on here. So you find the USB, you find CL1, CL2, 3, 4, 5. And the reason for that is that I actually like seals a lot. I mean, this is a very robust communication uh, backbone electric device. It can transmit data very fast and so on and so forth. So that's actually a very good good communication uh, protocol or protocol backbone. And and uh, I, I, I would find it uh, somehow strange to not make use of it. So to argue against the seals in comparison to the CAN bus, uh, I would rather consider an ideological fight than, than a rational technical discussion. And in fact, there are some seals which you actually want to have. For example, the USB port. You certainly want to be able to connect per USB. I mean, you can use the USB of your cube, but it might not be in a convenient location. Uh, it might be out easily and so on and so forth. So you want to have a USB port. You also want to have the seal one port to which you usually connect your telemetry unit. I mean, it would be kind of stupid to translate the data from, from your telemetry unit to a CAN bus protocol just to avoid this plug here. Uh, and so this doesn't make sense to me. And as I said, I also like seals in general. So I put all the seals on here. So this is seal one, seal two, three, four, and five. Um, however, all the other ports are gone. With one exception, in the next version of this board, which is the one which I'm going to release when also, you will find on the bottom side, you will find solder pads which allow you to connect to the I2C port. And the reason is simply that if you're not yet in a position to do a full UV CAN system and you somehow want or need or whatever this I2C port, you still can use this board and make benefit of it and uh, you are not uh, yeah, in, in, in the hell. But um, it's obviously in an inconvenient location and this is obvious, obviously so because this board is not really made for that. Okay, so this is uh, another reason for why this is so small. 
And what, however, you find are all the ports you need to connect to your receiver. So there's a spectrum port, there's S bus in, S bus out, PPM in. You also find things like a buzzer connector and the safety lead connector. But that's all it. And then there's a final point about it, namely it's this power scheme. And all cube carriers I'm aware of use this uh, module here, this PSM module for from ProVCN. And uh, and this is this is essentially the same electronics you find in a Pixhawk one, uh, just put onto a small board. And this is certainly an excellent piece of hardware. Uh, however, I argue that it is way too sophisticated for what we actually need. And so what we actually need at the end is just uh, are just two diets. And in fact, the PIX Razor is using just two diets. Um, so, so you see again the philosophy to strip down things to the essentials. At the end, we would just need two diets. However, I realized that the diet which uses, which uh, switch it over, does the switching for the voltage of a USB plug, uh, should be an ideal diet. So uh, I don't want to discuss this in detail here, but it has some advantages. And it's in some sort, actually, for, at least for the solar black cubes, it's, it's, uh, it's essential. Uh, so I have here one ideal diet for the USB plug and then an ordinary diet for the power brick um, plug. Okay, so these are the features which make it so small and slim. And because it has the size, it allowed me to also build a second version of this board. So it's exactly the same layout, just put onto a, some slightly bigger one. And this bigger one, it looks then populated with a cube like that, is made such that it exactly and nicely fits onto the EMX6 board of the Sololink. So you can put this together, oops, like this. And yeah, and this gives you a really little cute uh, complete system. So you have now a complete solo link in addition to that. You have here this mounting holes to uh, properly mount that. So if the mounting holes are made in a way that if you don't need them, you just can cut them away. And uh, so that's an, ad 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 an additional feature of this, uh, of this little board here. Okay.